a very long road that connects uh, several places of international importance. It was conceptualized as a regional project, um, which will connect not just um, you know, regions within our country, but also extending across the border into Tanzania. Between Mombasa and Kilifi, where we have a lot of congestion, under the same program, we will give it a priority so that then we can open up that area. My name is Man Kilit, and if you're living in the coastal region of Kenya, you have experienced traffic congestion in areas like Nyali, Bamburi, Kisauni, and Likoni, and other places near it. We are going to talk about the 454 kilometer highway from Bangamoyo, Tanzania to Malindi, Kenya. On 12th of December 2019, the East African Coastal Corridor Road project dubbed the Coastline Transnational Highway, traversing from Malindi to Bagamoyo Road, was launched. Bagamoyo uh, Marid Highway is actually a project which will cover about uh, 454 kilometers, um, coming from Tanga region in Tanzania, in Bagamoyo, and adding up in Malindi. And so it's one of the many uh, regional projects which we are you know, implementing to make sure that we can have better integration, uh, not, within our, not just within our country, but also the entire region. The road project, which is deemed to be of utmost significance to be continued growth and development of the region, required substantial improvement on the existing road infrastructure. Sita mbotu unapata kuenda Mombasa, Mombasa is just only 30 minutes. So utakuta, tunachukua one hour because jam. Kama kuna jamu huo atuwezi tukakazania kupeleka abiria Mombasa paka pala mwa atakana kuenda. Hii ilikuwa na madhara mengi hasa sana ni ajali barabarani zinakuwa zinakuwa mingi sasa hata saa ingine unahofia kutoka na ile masaa ya masaa kutoka kutoka late unapata mtu akikupiga full lights ukitoa kidogo unatoka kwa barabara sasa inakuwa kutoka kwa barabara ni naro inakuwa ni shida to this end the ambitious road project was bad cutting across Kenyan and Tanzanian landscapes the project aims to transform the entire regional corridor into an economic hub. The new project is supposed to solve the problem of congestion, uh, safe usage of the road, uh, issues to do with the, 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 mix, the, the traffic mixes. We have motorized traffic and non-motorized traffic. The new road is supposed to address matters of you know being able to put in facilities for non-motorized traffic, as opposed to the current situation where uh, pedestrians, the place where pedestrians are using, the same place where the vehicles are using, is the same place where the motorbikes and tuk-tuks are using. And that makes it unsafe to use the road. Implemented by the Kenya National Highway Authority, Kenha, the project is to be executed in phases with the first phase along the Kenyan coast, being the 54-kilometer Mombasa to Upper Cliffy Road section. The biggest challenge we have had is that section, basically from, from Nyali, uh, going to Mutwapa. I'm sure you've seen the kind of congestion which we ex people experience every day because most of the hotels uh, to start with are actually located in that section. There's a lot of commercial activity coming all the way from Nyari Bridge uh, going to Mutwapa. As you know there's a lot of preliminary works to be done uh, in terms of uh, reviewing the designs that were done under the East African region, which we have done so far. We've even gone to tender. As we speak, the evolution has come out. We expect to have um, construction starting in the next three months. Uh, one thing also about this road, uh, of late, it has become very busy. And uh, because of uh, the narrowness, it, uh, especially there are many trucks, many trucks which use this road. And uh, it can become very dangerous, especially at night. In order to solve all these problems and provide an efficient road network along the corridor, the project shall involve well thought out roadworks. The main section is between Mombasa and Mutwapa, which we are dueling. We are doing a dual carriageway with interchanges at uh, Nyali uh, to connect to Links Road and the old Malindi Road. 
we have another interchange, great separation at uh, junction with Links Road, where we used to call, used, used to be Nakumat, and the next one is at uh, Bamburi, where we have also the, the beach, where it's connected to the beach. And then we have another one at uh, Shanzu, major interchange. The drainage, where we are supposed to be having a very uh, big trunk drain, uh, that will be able to drain water. So we expect that much of the flooding that is around the Mururu area, that is around, around uh, the Rikoni areas, should be able to be improved. For purposes of reducing congestion, the designers have ensured that all the major junctions are great separated. We have interchanges. The vehicles which are turning in have been uh, the designers have ensured that they'll be turning in at a different level from the vehicles which are going through. In conjunction with other stakeholders and donors, Kenya National Highway Authority, Kenha, has embarked on this project in line with its mission of developing quality and adequate trunk roads nationally. African Development Bank, uh, as you know, is a, is a, Pan is a premier Pan-African bank, uh, which is actually owned uh, mainly by African countries for development. So when there's a project which uh, affects more than one country, they become very keen. So there are roads which we call regional development roads. This is one of them. By doing those roads, it meant that the objective of connecting Tanzania with Kenya becomes a lot easier because both countries are members of the ADB. You are actually supporting two countries doing one project and so it helps in terms of economies of scale. Uh, working with the Tanzania then we were able to actually approach uh, ADB so that then that project can be funded jointly. So it's a multinational uh, project, it's not really a Kenyan project uh, meant to benefit Tanzania as well as Kenya. The foreseeable benefits of the projects are wide-ranging and shall positively impact many aspects of the economy local businesses and day-to-day -day experiences of many Kenyans. We'll be doing a training of unemployed youth, which has been a practice. Uh, uh, as you know, this coastal area, there are so many youth who have finished school and they're unemployed. There are issues of drug abuse. Uh, there are so many other issues which is affecting the youth in the area. And uh, uh, as per our studies in the area, we, we have a component to train these youth so they can get some gainful employment. To serve uh, transporters and people who are traveling from Tanzania to Kenya and Kenya and Tanzania, it will also serve people who are evacuating cargo from the port of Mombasa, the port of Lamu, and as well as even the port of Dar es Salaam because they could still be able to use part of that corridor to deliver their cargo to different destinations. It will also be able to serve the local traffic People who say live in Mombasa and they are coming to work in the morning, going back home in the evening. Uh, once it is completed, uh, business will improve uh, dramatically. For Sabu, there will be enough space Yamagari. So people will not be worried that atachelewa kufika ama atafika nyumbani kuchelewa. The tourism and transportation sectors shall experience a boom as well. Besides having uh, the offtake from the ports because as you know the coastline is where we have the ports it also serves to ensure that at least um, tourism within the coast the coast is actually well enhanced you realize that that road runs through the entire coastal strip which basically is the biggest tourist uh, center for our country not only our country but also our neighbors in tanzania so. the attractions on this particular site you have all the beach hotels, you've got the fantastic beaches, for instance, Nyali Beach, the entire stretch has got close to, what, 10 hotels. Then you skip to Bamburi Beach, which has got another, what, a dozen hotels. Then from Bamburi Beach, you jump to Shanzo Beach. Again, another, what, 10, 15 hotels. And then now you go into Mutuapa site, which may not have had great development in terms of beach hotels, but there's a lot of residential houses there and a lot of holiday homes. So there's a lot that you can do in the North Coast. If we get our infrastructure right, which we are now about to embark on, that is a music to our ears and we'd love to see that happen. With the ordinary road user also set to enjoy these benefits. Usafiri, utakuwa rahisi, na wasalama kabisa. 
hata masaa yote mnasafiri na mchana usiku bila hofu always eyeing the bigger picture the coastline transnational highway fits perfectly into our national and regional goals when uh, a road like that one is actually developed you expect that most of these aspects especially the housing agriculture and basically when you think about south coast there's a lot a lot of um, potential for agriculture developing a country uh, cannot be done satisfactorily without connectivity without communication without movement of goods without movement of people without uh, uh, enabling all these activities to happen in a manner that is safe and so this road becomes a key uh, enabler a key component of of development this road you help in terms of moving food uh, food from areas which grow food in the south to ones the north and therefore making sure that we also take care of that issue of uh, food uh, security and so far we are on course with Mombasa Tropical section of the project still on course for completion on time the Mombasa Mtwapaki Leafy Road is just a tip of the iceberg in the transformation of coastal region into an economic powerhouse. Its positive effects will be felt far and wide, all over the region and beyond.